yeah so this is the code so here we are trying to look at uh, how we can extract the data options data is actually after we have connected from the files ap so we're not touching about the connection part the assumption is that we have generated the token and then we got the access token and then we have connected to the files api that, you know, so details of which is already covered in the previous video so we are not looking at that so right now so this two is two stuff fundamentally first you have to format the options symbol right if it is nifty if you have to download options nifty data means you should know what is the symbol of the nifty options symbol of the nifty options would consist of many things nifty is there and easy has to be appended and then strike year which year is that month is that which week expiry is that and then we need the strike price that we need and we need to also append so it's a call or put c or p so the entire thing together is what we need that is the first task to format the symbols name according to how we need second step would be to use the use the function that is given by, that is given by the um, files which is nothing but files not history so history is the function name api function name where we have to pass details of what history details are there which symbols which time frames which time periods this details if you give it will give that details back it has to be captured and formatted and then normal to text and file or text file or whatever locking so these are two steps one is formatting next is formatting we need all of these details right now they are hard coded this can also be read from the master contract excel file that is maintained in the files public public dot files dot in has got this master contract from there you can identify which is the expiry date and strike and all that but uh, right in this demo what is happening is we are assuming the atm is 17000 today the 19th of december the atm is 17000 we are reading 10 strikes upwards and 10 strike below that means 16 5 and 6 no, 1750 1700 1750 like that 50 points incremented 50 points incremented 20 strikes upwards and 20 strikes downwards from the atm and for for call and the put so here we are doing some loop, looping in the format after we are looping and calling the download function to extract and download it every for every strike symbol every option symbol we'll call it every option symbol for 20 up and 20 down 20 strikes up and 20 strikes down so put and call that is why we are having this loop for loop repeated four times so every time we have a download weekly file download weekly file let's do no it is doing nothing but calling the files function to download files connect function is already there you already seen that this is files download function where we are passing the form data that is passed into this function right so this is how the format has to be it has to say from date you know what time frame so if it is 15 minute time frame of the 17,000 strike of the weekly expiry 23rd December 2021 with the data from 1st December to this date so that much details are covered in this when you are passing this information is available in the myapi.files where all details of what is expected to be sent to them is mentioned and what is expected to be received back also we know so they are sending back a multi-dimensional array and that detail has to be uh, JSON formatted with this three additional code. Right? We have to, to dump it into the JSON format, then we have to load the dumped JSON and then we have to normalize and then we will get the details with the open high low close for each of the strike. So, like that, we have to loop through and download everything. So, right now I had run it once and just clearing it. So, we'll just try to clear this. Yeah, so this under thing, so I'm going to run it again. So basically, it will call, it will format, and then it will download into a text file. So this is where the text file is stored. If you open this text file, nothing is there right now, blank. Okay, so I'm just executing this, building it. Okay? So it is started downloading. Look at this. So every strike. So this is. Right, the time frame 4 30 15 minutes gap right? 
time frame for the strike. This is a simple name. See 17,150 CE, this symbol, download is right now happening. So we'll keep on doing that. Okay. It will take 2 3 nine minutes for a one full week of data. So I'm trying to download from December 1st to this. So it's 15 days data, 15 minute time frame. Uh, and for uh, 20 strikes up and 20 seconds long, both put and code. So, so that takes 2-3 minutes to finish. So it is finished now. So it took only less than 1 minute. Look at the speed. Less than 1 minute of data which is having. See, that is right. Yes, this is the time. 345, 4, 450. Time format is some issue. Let's look at that. Time conversion is some issue. Let's look at that. But otherwise, no, that is now loaded in this format. With the strike and the end, open high claw close. Press that is for me. So, this is exactly the. Okay. Welcome. This is Martin here from. Secrets is done for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to a brand new episode of Algo Basic series, another new video. We will look at how we connect with uh, uh, Broker API, which is that of Fires, which is a discount broker. So, using their APIs, which are free, freely available, and we will today look at how options uh, intraday data can be downloaded. The help of that. Right. So last video on the same was a demo on how to connect to the API. So the connection will require you need to generate the access token with the method cells given and then you get connected and call the API functions to make use of the Additional functionalities like placing the order or seeing the fund balance and all these things, right? So we had seen that last week. So we are not going to repeat that. I'll just give the screenshot. But today the aim is to download the options in data, right? So options data, as you know, gets expired after the end of the contract. Basically, it's no longer there. For example, uh, 16th December weekly expiry for Nifty or Bank Nifty is not available in the broker. So we need to have a mechanism to download that on a weekly basis so that we can build on the data on our own. This is a very useful thing. So there is, it's a three step procedure here. One is to format the option symbol and then loop through and format in the sense format the symbol, right? The symbol or the instrument that we are going to download and then loop through the different symbols. So in option chain, we would have all the different symbols or different strikes which are uh, you know, 50 or 100 points apart. In the case of indices, in the case of uh, uh, stocks will be different. So you have to look through what strikes for the option chain, what you need and what time frame you need for that. And uh, is it 15 minute, 1 minute or whatever. And then uh, you need to dump that into a local file. That's these are three basic steps. So connecting steps this is already covered, so it's marked as a low here. So basically, you need to create an API app, right? So you can create all these API apps here. This is how it is. It's a very simple procedure. You just have to go to this document from my API or file dash flash code, and then automatically it will guide you. We had seen that already, I'm not repeating that. So, right. so, sample code is available in the GitHub. The link also is provided at the end of this video. In this slide, it is already covered. Then you need authorization token to be generated, and then access token to be generated, and then you have to call the APIs. Right. So, the entire detail would be available at this GitHub website. Right. This is provided by the broker himself. Sample code is there, you can go through that. And I'm of this same using the same sample code was all also shown in the previous video so you can check that link and then watch it again if you're not seeing how to connect to the api so without connecting the api you can't download it. So, right now comes to the downloading the option simple data 
so downloading a normal instrument like uh, the stock details historical data of that is very easy you just have to give the simple name and then then uh, you just call the function that allows you to download this file data and then you get it in the time frame for the period that now right so here the difference or major difference would be the options it is all strike based it's not just the online signal in symbol along with that you would need to have the strike details also for the particular expiry the week month the year also has to come in and then the strike price also has to be mentioned right and along with that it's also called put also so this is the first step formatting that you can see here so basically here it is hard coded but ideally you would need to read you can read this from a public dot file routine there is a master instrument data that is available in other brokers also there will be similar lookup where you can see the instrument details right see instrument details will have an expiry lot size and all this details recorded there so you can read that and then get it but here it's hard coded here basically we are trying to download the nifty uh, December series 23rd expiry 2021 70,000 strike price for 15 minute candle uh, and we are going to get the data from the December 10th to 17 7 days one week of data for this strike and then we are going to loop through that so it's you no know, it's not enough that we get the 70,000 strike P and C so we need to get the strikes for 70,000 50s and 100 like that 20 strikes up and 20 seconds down. That's what we're trying to achieve. So that's why we have to format it and then we need to loop through each of the strike and in every strike you have to go on the download video weekly file. Right. So once you call the download weekly file, this is what happens, right? So basically what we need to do is very simple. Files is already providing this function files history dot that. When you call that function, you have to pass this format of what exactly you need to put out, right? What time frame, which time period, right? Which symbol. This information is sent means you will get it back as a multi dimensional array. That's what um, file API is written. So that multi dimensional array is dumped into JSON formats and then loaded uh, back and then normalized, and then you get to format the date time. It's an additional step so that you have, to, uh, is you have to put into a data frame and then also you have to remove one more step is there which is to remove the uh, UTC and the GMT time frame. So by default if you use the first command only you would get it only in the time the time will come in the GMT format. So you have to remove that uh, time part to get in our time format and then just use the data frames to a csv function to dump it into an excel file so this function would basically be called multiple times in a loop for as many number of strikes and as many number of c or p you want which you can configure it's very simple now format the data and dump the data before that connect right so that's the uh, i hope this is going to be very useful so this is not written in an optimizer model way only for demo purpose, right? So basically, it's very simple. You just have to connect to the API. Once it is connected, they are giving a function to pass on the symbol data and the period and the time frame, and you get the data and dump it and loop through as many number of strings because the option is not one symbol, it's a series of symbols for the full expiry and the option chains. So, loop through that each of that extract, and then it works fairly fast. Also, in two minutes, you can download the seven days of uh, 20 plus and 20 minus E and PD data. Right, so that's it. That's the benefit of uh, this. Uh, hope it helps. If it helps, uh, click on the like button and share to friends and colleagues. Right. So this uh, is going to be very beneficial in case you are trying to get the data so on a for the options on uh, for the purpose of big back testing your strategies. You need data, or else you need to purchase the data so that is already available to us. Till the contract duration at least. Before the contract expires, you just have to execute the script, download the data. Next week, download the data, and then you have the full data for all the option uh, series. This same method can be used for other symbols also, not just option. Options. You have to build this strike uh, 
uh, appending to the symbol is there that's why it becomes slightly uh, different that's all hope it helps thank you